Welcome back in. It's mid-morning on WKYT. We're glad you're with us on this beautiful day. Huh? It is beautiful, yes. Uh, Lexington Company is giving the gift of hearing to those in need. To learn more about it, we're joined by Lowell Scott, the president and owner of Hearing Solutions. Welcome. Glad to have you here today. Glad to be here. Appreciate it. You're telling us about the Starkey Hearing Foundation of Kentucky, and, and it has a, has a mission here. Right? Yeah, we're, we're trying to fit uh, people that are, that are needing hearing and helping them with their hearing problems. And we have identified around 90 people that have problems in the area and in different areas, so that we're trying to get them to better hearing so they can do better with their hearing. How did all of this get started? Uh, it started, uh, I've been a part of the, the Starkey Foundation for a long time and done missions all over the world. And uh, talking with Bill Austin, which is the founder of it, we wanted to do something local. And um, Brady introduced me to Coach Cal uh, a while ago, and he wanted to do something to help people locally. So we, we coupled with uh, the Coach Cal Foundation and the Cal Power Foundation, and we found some people to, that could help with us. And, and we're utilizing it that this coming weekend. How, uh, what kind of process do the candidates for this go through to, to be chosen? Uh, we sent out a lot of emails to um, um, all the different uh, schools to try to identify, identify people. We do screenings around and we run across people that can't afford hearing instruments. We try to, we, we put them on a list to find out because, you know, hearing instruments are expensive, as, as you know, and some people just can't afford them. Um, so we've been part of that process for a long time, but when we just started identifying more and more, we asked the foundation if they would come out and, and help with that, and, and they were more than happy to. What happens to all of these candidates after the mission? Well, that, that's the hard part is that we're going to help out with them. We've identified uh, a couple companies. One is in Bowling Green and one is uh, down towards Corbin. Um, it's uh, Southeastern uh, Kentucky Audiology and uh, Tennessee Audubel that are, that are helping us with that, uh, with the follow-up care. So they're, they're not abandoned. They're going to be there to so they can follow up and make sure they get the, the care that they need afterwards. Lowell, do you find that uh, people are stubborn about getting their hearing checked? Stubborn, I don't know about that, but they don't, they don't want to, that, that's for sure. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, you don't want the bad news, right? right. Well, it's kind of like cholesterol. Yeah. It's a painless disorder, right? Mm -hmm. So they don't, they don't know they have the, they, don't, they, they uh, put it off for a long time. But there's, it really affects the, the interaction. That's really what you give back to the people is the, their, their con connection with their family. I mean, if you think about it, it's because when I, when I don't hear well, uh, I'm isolated. I may be here with you, but when I'm not involved in the conversations and stuff, and that's really what you give them back that ability to do that, and and the ability for to to earn better incomes and everything. So, so really, a, a life changing gift here. Yes, yes, it is. If you'd like more information there about the Starkey Hearing Foundation, we have some websites there, and we really do appreciate you coming in, and it's a wonderful thing you're doing. Thank you, I appreciate. Thank it. Thank you.